Yo, welcome to the channel. This is the Rap 2K. And today, let's discuss it, man. We got the XXL Freshman list. What do y'all think about it, man? I feel like it's a good list, but it's definitely that one name that's missing off this list. That I'm like, how the fuck y'all don't got him? But I feel like it's two, it's two names on here that I'm like, all right, you could have put him on there too, you feel me? But... It's a, it's a cool list overall. I'm not going to front with you. We're going to see how long it lasts. I'm surprised. They actually got like an R&B hip-hop single on here. You feel me? I'm like, yo, what are, what is the freshman list like requirement? You feel me? Like, is it focusing on rap? Like, is it focused on what the fuck are we focusing on, bro? Like, I just need to know. <laughs> but the whole reason I made this channel, man, because that 2018 freshman list was ridiculous like little baby should have been on that bitch a lot of NBA young boy little skies rich the kid famous Dex could have been on there six nine could have been on there before he snitched you feel me like it just could have been a whole cuban dog asian dog like any one of them they could have been all all on there but they chose who they chose on 2018 and that's when i started to make my page for real and that's here we are yo every year i'd like to play this game though who is the best freshman on the list and today let's discuss it man my 2018 winner was jid i feel like jid is still making an impact in the game man we just heard that jid and conway if you haven't heard that song man go check that shit out yo jid i feel like he's a young legend he just need a little bit more time we gonna figure it out he gonna figure it out yo rowdy rich was my pick in 2019 yo 2019 I didn't like Rowdy Rich at the beginning. I was like, I was trying to figure him out. And then at the end of 2019, I kind of figured it out. You feel me? And like, with the passing of Nipsey Hussle, it kind of like, I mean, I, I grew into Rowdy Rich. You feel me? Like, Rowdy Rich, he amazing to me still to this day. You feel me? He making some cool ass songs. You know what I mean? I like that late at night song that he got out right now. So, y'all tell me what y'all think about that. And my 2020 winners. My 2020 winners, I had two of them. I had King Vaughn and I had Rod, Rod Wave, you feel me? Like, I like Rod Wave, but I wasn't a big fan of Rod Wave at the beginning of, uh, what's that, 2019, 2020, you feel me? And then I heard fucking, what's that last album before Soul Fire? Pray for, I think it was Pray for Love. It was something like that. That album was amazing, you feel me? And King Vaughn, LeVon James, and that... That first album that he came out, that first mixtape that he came out with, listen, LeVon James is one of my favorite mi albums, albums from Chicago ever, ever. I feel like it's the best Chicago street, um, just drill rap album probably ever put together, ever, ever. LeVon James. Like, what with the old block is cool, like it's good and commercial and all that, but LeVon James, that motherfucker is another level. That is another level of storytelling, you feel me? Like, he tell you basically what he went through every single day, bro. Like, you can tell he, he took his time with that. That's all I'm going to say. Fuck, it's my man King Von. R.P. King Von, man. We miss King Von. Music, man. I can't even front with you, you feel me? Yo, some lanes that didn't make the list, and I'm surprised. And I'm very surprised. I'm going I'm to hit the last one. That I said should have made the list, and y'all gonna be like, how he ain't on the list? You feel me? Yo, J.I., the Prince of New York. I feel like since last year, yo, he was on my he was on my freshman bracket last year. You feel me? And I feel like last year, he hasn't really like elevated his game. He's still like, all right, J.I. Prince of New York. You feel me? J.I. Prince of New York. You feel me? I like I like J.I. He like he cool. He make good ass music. I just, I want him to get on that French Montana where I feel like he better than French Montana, honestly, you feel me, like, shorty got it, he just got to find one, I just feel like he got to find one, once he find one, people going to go into his catalog, his catalog is amazing, so, I feel like J.R. could have been on this list, Sleepy Hollow is another one for me, you feel me, I like Sleepy Hollow, Sleepy Hollow, he's grown on me. He's definitely grown on me on the last probably like couple of years. And I'ma say, he's cool. He's cool. 
I fuck with him. Him and Chef G. Him and Chef G definitely should have been on the list. If anybody should have been on the list, it definitely should have been Chef G. If you want to put a New York drill rapper on the list, I think it should have been him. You feel me? Like, none of the New York drill rappers that you put on the list have let you down. Pop Smoke hasn't let you down. Pop Smoke wasn't even on the fucking list. I'm surprised. But, Fabio Fawn hasn't let you down, so I don't see why Chef G shouldn't have been on this list. You feel me? Um, Bia. Bia is my, one of my favorite female rappers. I feel like she's better than every female that's on the list. Every female that I'm about to talk about, I feel like Bia is better than. Personal preference. Sally Sosa, another one. Better than every female that's on this freshman list. Like, Sally Sosa came up with one of the best albums last year. She from Texas. I fucks with Sally Sosa. She has bars. She can flow. You like Days Loaf, you gonna like that. You definitely gonna like Sally Sosa, you feel me? Go check Sally Sosa out. Big Scar, yo, I just heard this tape, man. Oh my God. I can't even lie, yo. Like this year, Big Scar, like, yo, he, he, yes, yo. Like, oh my goodness, bro. He, he's nice. That nigga nice, yo. That nigga nice. I'm surprised about it, cause I didn't, I took a chance on this nigga album, you feel me? That's what I like about this shit, you feel me? That's what I like about my channel, you feel me? Like, I, I get to review new music every week. I don't even know these people, you feel me? I don't know nothing about these people, but when I heard Big Scar shit, yo, the motherfucker, every time you hear the motherfucking chains going, boy, you know Big Scar about to come through with some shit. <laughs> yo, I fuck with Big Scar, yo. Yo, Cat Polo, man. I fuck with Cat Polo, West Coast. Definitely, man, like, West Coast artist that's big, blowing up right now, and I feel like Cat Polo in the next couple years, man. Yes. <laughs> like, yo, Cat Polo fucking nice, bro. Yo, he just, it's a vibe, bro. It's a vibe with him, you feel me? Like, he makes good-ass music. He makes good, laid-back, hot music, you feel me? And that's why I fuck with him, you feel me? And he, like, he got that pimp talk, you feel me? He got that pimp talk. A lot of rappers don't got that shit nowadays, yo. He know how to talk to the females. He be talking to the bitches, but he talking to the females, you feel me? And rappers be scared to talk. They be talking this gun shit all day long. I be like, yo, come on. I want to hear something different. And Cat Polo be giving me something different every time I listen to him. So I fuck with him. Vori. I fucks with Vori heavy. I'm not going front with you. Like, I did an album review on him last year, I think it was, when he came out. And that album has grown on me ever since that I did that album with him, you feel me? And that's Meek Mill's artist. He's nice. Vori, y'all should definitely check out him. Check out his album from last year. Vori is definitely, definitely, <laughs> he definitely going to be around for a minute, you feel me? I feel like one of Meek Mill's, Meek Mill always picks some good-ass artists, you feel me? He always do. Spend a bench. If y'all know about the situation that's going on, I feel like Spinner Benz could have been on the list too. And I don't understand why Young and Ace hasn't made a freshman list yet. Like, that shit is crazy. That shit is ridiculous at this point in time. Young and Ace is literally... Everybody talks about him in fucking Jacksonville, bro. Every every single person. Fulio, like, yo, fucking... Oh, what's the boy's name, yo? Little Papa. Little Papa could have been on the list too. That's another one. I'm just like, yo, how the fuck... Nobody from Jacksonville, Florida made the list. Nobody. Like, nobody. Not Fulio, not Lil Papa, not Spinner Benz, not Wapa the Chopper, not, not, not Young and Ace. So I'm just like, yo, the whole Jacksonville, y'all y'all just discounting the whole Jacksonville. Like, yo, there's some good-ass music coming out of Jacksonville, Florida, man. Y'all go check out them artists, you feel me? Even though they going through their shit, some of them are making some good-ass music, you feel me? Presser. I feel like Presser definitely could have been on this list, especially above Corey LeRae. I feel like Presser, he been he been pressing on the game. He been putting his putting his foot on the gas pedal for a minute, you feel me? And I don't know. We gonna see what happens with Presser, you feel me? I like Presser. Like as far as a Canadian artist, like they've been growing definitely on me because I've been definitely reaching out and listening to more. I like fucking Presser. Of course, I like Nav, you know what I mean? It's a couple of that I fuck with, you feel me? Top five. Uh, I used to like K-Money. K-Money was cool. He was cool. Yo. <clears throat> Here I am telling you, Stunner Girl, man. Stunner fucking girl, bro. 
Yo, Stunner Girl is, when I hear her rap, bro, I just get excited, you feel me? Like, I don't know what it is, what she does, yo, like, shorty energy, when she come through the fucking, like, yo, I just feel like all three of the females that I just named could have been on the freshman list over the top, over those three females that's on the list, you feel me? Stunner Girl, bro, if you haven't checked out Stunner Girl, man, check out Stunner Girl, bro, go listen to her, bro, go listen to her. Please just go listen to her, yo. Just go listen to Stunner Girl, yo. She is nice. <laughs> I said Young and Nace already in. Guap Dad 4000. Guap Dad 4000 could have been on this list, too. I feel like he been on the road for the last year or two. But I don't know. I don't know if he's marketable like everybody said. I don't know if he's marketable. That's why I don't, he's not on this list. Mm -hmm. Maybe. And my man, I stay G. I mean, I, I I don't know why he's not on the list. That's kind of weird to me, y'all. It's always one person. Like, in 2018, Juice WRLD was left off the list, you feel me? Like, it's always one fucking person that's not on the list. Last year, King Von was left off, left off the list, you feel me? I'm just saying, like, it's always one person. And that one person always usually be the biggest fucking artist, you feel me? And SJG is bigger than everybody on this goddamn list. I don't understand why he's not on this list. It is what it is, you feel me? Now, let's get down to it, man. Who do y'all feel like is going to be his longest? <laughs> nah, let's discuss it, man. Let's start, I'm going to start with number 11, and I'm going to go all the way down to number 1. Yo, as far as the number 11 spot, I feel like Ian Dior is the number 11 spot. And I say this because... He's not better than 42 Golden. And I I hardly hear about 42 Golden after last year. After last year, I've heard probably nothing about 42 Golden. Not no tracks. Nothing. Except for that, that um, Coco Chanel. Right? That's the only song I've ever heard them play on the radio by 24 Golden. And he's supposed to be this radio artist. He's supposed to be this, this artist. That we supposed to love, you feel me? But like 24 Golden is better than Ian Doyle, so I got him in my number 11 spot. I like Ian Dior though. I'm not gonna lie, he got a couple of songs that I'm fucking with, so I'm not gonna walk away from it and say that he's gonna stay at this number 11 spot. Maybe he'll grow, you feel me? No, he's young. He's definitely young. I think he's younger than 21, so. Artists like that, yo, you still got to give a chance, you feel me? I give them all the way up to 25, 28, 25, 28. That's when the range, you got to figure out what the fuck is going on with life, yo. All right, yo, I'm about to break away from you, my nigga. Right? Stop listening to your ass. <laughs> yo, Ruby Rose, yo. I fuck with Ruby Rose. I ain't even going front with you. I don't know what the fuck situation she got going on outside of music. I don't really keep up with shorty. But... The music that I've heard from Ruby Rose, especially on that Young and May song, man, it's it's showing potential. It's definitely showing potential. You feel me? It's not it's not no bad bars. You feel me? And she just knows how to come get in and out of her 16s. You feel me? Yo, that song with Young and May is hard. I feel like it's gonna be one of them songs that you hear all summer long. Yo, y'all go check her out, man. Go check her out. Definitely go check out that song with Young and May. That that song with Young and May kind of impressed me. And the song with Rich the Kid, Flo Millie. It's like Rich the Kid, Flo Millie, and Mulatto. Check that song out, too. You feel me? I like Ruby Rose. She growing on me. Her album, her album was cool, too. Yo, I got a pool shiesty at number nine. And the reason I got him at number nine because, yo, he is a wild card. He is a fucking wild card, man. You, you never know what a wild card, y'all. Like, Gucci is a wild card. Yeah. But when you got a wild card like Pooh Shiesty, yo, that's just, nigga just got money in his pockets in the club, no security. I'm talking about he, he don't need no security. He got fired in the club. He literally bringing guns in the club, literally shooting people in the club. Like, yo, bro, <laughs> what are we doing here? Like, what the fuck are we doing here, nigga? It, it, nigga, eventually this shit gonna catch up with you, you feel me? Like, I don't know. Like, I, it's gangster is a certain level, yo. It's certain levels of gangster, you feel me? Like, that shit is just reckless at that fucking point in time that you just doing crazy-ass dumb shit like that, you feel me? 
I respect Joe. We got we, whatever he got going on. He might be the he might be the biggest criminal in the fuck. He might be the biggest nigga in the streets. You feel me? Like yo, I respect that shit and all that shit. But yo, that's reckless movement. You walking around with four pockets full and you performing. You performing. You feel me? And all on top of you performing, you gotta protect yourself in front of people that's coming to see you. Come on, bro. You gotta move smarter. Now that you you on the case that you facing, like, you possibly possibly are facing twenty years, bro. Like that's why I say he a wild card, bro. I don't know. Just don't know. Just like NBA young boy, NBA young boy wild card with me too. But I feel like NBA young boy ever since he's been on house arrest, he's kind of I don't know. I don't know about these people what they do. I don't know what they do. You feel me? But I will say NBA young boy seems like he's just just chilled out a little bit. You feel me? So. We will see what Pooh Shice do, yo. He's young, you feel me? Yo, Flo Millie is my number eight. I fuck with Flo Millie. Flo Millie is... She cool. Her definitely her album that I heard last year. What's that? Ho, Ho You Ain't Shit? Something like that, you feel me? I had like three, four songs off of there that I was fucking with. And I... Hey. To say that I fuck with some female artists, yo, I'm not gonna lie, yo. It's... I like female artists. I like female rap artists, and I told you right now, I feel like they're running the game, honestly, yo. And Flo Millie, she got bars. Kind of feel like she took Bally Baby style just, uh, uh, wow, uh, 25%, you feel me? But it's actually good to see somebody, you know what I mean, that can rap. That can rap. And all these females can rap. I got Lakaya, I think, or Lakia, I don't, don't want to say her name wrong, but Lakaya. That song at, at number seven, you feel me? Shorty, Shorty was nice. When I heard her album, it was the first time I ever heard her album. What, what the album was called, yo? Shorty just nice, yo. And I kind of fucked with her. Lakaya. She is in due time. That song too much, yeah. That song too much, and that song popping with Gucci, and that's like that song Young Blue also in a dirty world. Yo, her album is cool, yo, and this, and this, and the show of potential. You feel me? She a QC artist. I should have put Flo Millie above her, knowing that she a QC artist. Because there's too many fucking artists on QC, yo. It's way too many fucking... Like, yo, Duke Deuce could have been on the freshman list, yo. He on QC, yo. There's too many goddamn artists on QC, yo. It's weird, yo. It's fucking weird, yo. Because you got your top premier artists. How the fuck are y'all focusing on so many rap artists, you feel me? And they got producers and all this other shit, yo. They be having good artists, yo. They got Rennie Brucci on there. They got... Akaya, they got the city girls, so, yo, if you got these three females on your, on your roster, you feel me, they probably got way more, they really focus on city girl first, yo, and I'm like, yo, there's other artists that they focus on, like, Lil, what's that, uh, I think, not Lil Baby, Yachty, he's on there, you got the Migos, the, all three of the Migos on there, like, yo, they are focusing on other artists before these other artists, and that's why I'm like, QC is good exposure if you want to get out that first album. And then I'm like, yo, after the first album, yo, y'all might want to break away and do your own thing, get on that individual grind. You feel me? It's like, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But I just feel like it's hella fucking artists on QC, yo. It's fucking crazy, yo. Every year, I see a new artist on QC, yo. Yo, DDG. My man, DDG, bro. I got him at number six. How do y'all feel about DDG? I like DDG. I feel like, yo, he a, he a hustler, and I fucks with that. I fucks with that personally, yo, DDG. Yo, how can you mess, how can you be mad at a hustler, you feel me? So DDG came from YouTube, bro. He, now he's rapping. I don't personally like too many songs. I like a couple songs, but I feel like, yo, his hustle is going out of, I don't know. Hustle is going to outshine talent. Sometimes it does, and that's the case with DDG, you feel me? Yo, number five, Corey LeRae. <laughs> I feel like Corey LeRae is going to be in the middle of the list. 
I feel like she should have been on freshman list last year, honestly. But now she has that big purr tag behind her, so she's more marketable than last year. But Corey LeRae definitely should have been on the freshman list last year, you feel me? She was bigger than both of those two female artists that was on there last year, you feel me? And I don't know, man. I like Huddy and I like old Corey LeRae, all black Corey LeRae, you feel me? I mean, she's grown. She's in that big purr on that chipmunk stage. That's what academics do. I don't know, man. It's more marketable, you feel me? I feel like Corey LeRae is definitely going to be around because she has a mastermind behind her, and that's Benzino. If y'all don't know about Benzino, go find out about Benzino. Benzino been beefing with your favorite rapper his whole fucking career. And been relevant his whole career. So if you don't know about Benzino, y'all should check out Benzino. He's going to keep his daughter relevant. Got to keep the money coming in some way, you feel me? The fuck y'all talking about? Corey LeRae is going to be successful. That's why she's number five on this list. Blast. I like Blast. When I heard his little e or, and I'm not going to say little, because okay, ain't nothing little, you feel me? When you do something, you know, that shit major, you feel me? And so, respect. When I heard his EP, you feel me, I fucked with him. Uh, every song on there, though, I think it was the last song that captured me the most. But Blast is a great artist. He more R and B to me. I feel like one artist that you could have put off we could have not had on the list but at the same time, like he on that Bryson Seller, Tory Lanez type wave, you feel me? Like the what's the boy name? That was on the freshman list two years ago. Two years ago. I just heard this fucking song. God damn. Oh man, shaking that like a Shakira, just shaking that thing like Shakira. God damn, I forgot the goddamn boy name. Yo, he more in the R&B lane, you feel me? I fuck with Blast though, he cool. <laughs> Let's get into the top three. My top three, I got Tulsi at three. I feel like Tulsi is nice. Tulsi, I I've definitely grown to respect Tulsi. Last year he was on my freshman bracket, and I didn't really know who Tulsi was, you feel me? And then I found out. I like the Five Stars. What song was that? Five Stars? Yeah, that song grew on me. It was Red Lights. Who That? Those songs right there grew on me. And then I actually listened to this new album that he just came out with, you feel me? And I listened to a couple other albums. And yo, he didn't grew on me, you feel me? I'm not going to lie to you. He nice. I got respect for him. Definitely got respect. That Platinum Heart, Painkillers, that's what the song is called, that Painkillers is hard. Yo, my number two is 42 Doug. Man, y'all already know, man, 42 Doug just came out with Freedom Guys. I just did a review on that shit. That shit was hard. Freedom Guys, well, listen, Freedom Boys. That album is hard. 42 Doug has grown on me, definitely. He's another artist I feel like he's going to be around for a long, long time, you feel me? I don't even need notes on that shit. Like, the songs that he made with Lil Baby are classic. Both of them. So, it's just like, you're starting off with two classics, and now you come out with the classic album. I feel like, yo, he's going to have a great, great, great career. I mean, go check out 42 Doug if you haven't. Check out that album. That last album that he just came out with, Freedom Boys. Definitely a tough-ass album. And my number one off of here, man. It's Maury. It's Maury, bro. Uh, I want to talk about somebody that's going to be around for a long time. This guy right here, like, every fucking song, it like, it's like a picture. It's like a picture that he's painting, you feel me? It's almost, the shit is epic. I'm not going to front with you. Like, I didn't... Avoided his album so long that I'm about to listen to his album this week. But it's just like, yo, every song that I've listened to of his, is, yo, just captured me. You feel me? Like, just captured me in the moment. It's like a Post Malone type thing. But I feel like he's going to be way bigger than Post Malone. And he's black. So I feel like we need to support this guy right here and what he's doing. Yeah, he came out of nowhere. Yeah, I feel like some people feel like he is an industry plant and all that, but listening to that album, bro, 
I came up with, yo, this this boy is talented. He's talented, bro. Like that's a talented artist right here. We dealing with, you feel me? And Moray need to be respected. I feel like Moray better than S that G. I feel like S that G would have been number two on this list. So y'all tell me what y'all think. Overall about this freshman list, that's my reaction review about it. I ain't really got too much else to say, you feel me? I've been said everything. Yo, females taking over rap, bro. Y'all gonna have to accept it. And I'm telling you, unless y'all gonna step y'all fucking buzz up and actually talk about some shit, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It's gonna be this... <laughs> it's gonna be this pop star vibe where the females gonna be taking over, y'all. I'm telling you. Yo, y'all hit that like button. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Yo, tell me what y'all think about this video. My number one I done came away with on this list is Maury. I feel like he gonna be around for a, a minute. I feel like he's definitely probably the best one off this list right now, too. So, that's my opinion.